So, um, I did my betting odds this morning for college football. So, I took Syracuse at a positive 23. So, all they got to do is take within 20 points. Don't know whether that's going to happen. I didn't know that Syracuse, two running backs, um, decided to sit out this year. I heard that on a local news station. I don't know. Uh, but uh, opening week, I mean, maybe Carolina is not clicking. I mean, Carolina's loaded this year. Down at, uh, the uh, center is the only thing that was missing from last year. So, uh, and I think Dino Vaders is a good coach. Syracuse had an awful year last year. When they started off ranked number 18, then they got blown out by Maryland. They struggled most of the year. Then they had a 17-13 game with uh, NC State down here that they struggled in. But I think I think Dino Bay was going to get it back together. I mean, it's hard to say with the COVID, but I'm hoping that they can keep it close. Uh, lose by 22 or something like that. Uh, everybody's big on this game. Uh, Louisiana, Lafayette, and Iowa State. Uh, I didn't get a chance to see Iowa State play last year, like watch watch them play. But I did get a chance to see them. Um, I know they played a lot of close games. They played good defense. Uh, as a positive, I took Louisiana, Lafayette at a positive 11. Um Louisiana Lafayette has a lot of his players returning. And I know everybody harps on quarterback, but they do. And I think they got their top running back and receiver back. Um, so I took that game at a positive 11. Louisiana Lafayette. I took the over in the Appalachian Charlotte game. But you might well call that an in-state rival. Um, it was 59 and a half. Um, Appalachian State returns they start quarterback a bunch of good receivers Charlotte can't really lost their best player to the NFL last year not saying they they don't have other players but uh, I'm hearing a guy down there recruits very well so last year was like 57 41 don't know how it's going to turn out uh, again because of COVID. Um, but I'm taking uh, the 59 and a half because of last year's shootout. But, I mean, both teams can at least score 30 points. I mean, <laughs> I mean I'm just saying. I know. Uh, I'm just saying. And I think they can both score at least 30. Um, App is always good, so that's going to be a good one. Um, this is the ones that always get me. Don't know nothing about neither team. I think I saw Arkansas State play a couple weeks ago. Uh, they're playing Kansas State at Kansas State. Don't know much about Kansas State. But like I said, I love doing parlay bets. And I know Kansas State has the old North Dakota State court coach. And uh, he's pretty good. I don't know a lot about the COVID that happened down in uh, Kansas, how it affected their practice at Kansas State or whatever, but I took Kansas State at uh, 13, negative 13 um, as a favorite um, just because I'm familiar with that team. So I know a lot of people say, well, that's stupid. It, it is. Um, it's only $25. So if I hit all four, I get $250. And then I'll play it later on tonight and tell you what picks I pick. Um, I need to get better at picking throughout the day. I guess as the games get uh, more games come on, and I'll start doing that, like picking during out the day. But for right now, that's. Uh, not try to have a whole bunch of games gathered together, 
But I always try to win early and then go have some money for the late night. That's what my philosophy is. So, uh, but uh, don't take my word for it. I just love, I love uh, gambling on football. You know, it's fun. And uh, um, I hate losing money. Damn you, Miami. For making me lose the other day, but it's only twenty five dollars, man. I I can make that up in an hour, uh, if even more, shorter time period than that. But for the most part, uh, you know, hey, I'm gonna enjoy my Saturday. Go home, hang out with the kids, get a little work in um, before I go hang out with the kids. It's like about the boy down right out here, but uh, enjoy Saturday football, people. Enjoy life. And life is short.